Hello and welcome to Prudent News. Now look at the headlines. SSC results declared Shreya Bambolkar first in Goa with 96.83%. Suya Shah Faldesai and Amar Jalad are second with 96.50%. Passing percentage 85.34%. Higher secondaries in the state will have to utilize its full capacity to admit all past students in 10th need to increase classrooms, says board chairman. Government transfers senior scale officers of Goa Civil Services responsibilities of some IAS officers shuffled. PWD officials claim safe water supply from Davos treatment plant. Walpoi residents claim the water has polluted. Some residents claim otherwise. And government introduces scheme to provide transport facilities to school students, transport services in remote areas, one-time grant of 14 crores to the KTC. Now the news in detail. Girls have outshined boys once again, this time in the SSC board examination. Shreya Bambulkar from the Hedgewar School in Panji is the topper with 96.8%. Shreya Shah Faldesa and Amar Jallad, both from New Education Institute at Kuchare, have secured 96.5% as the second highest. The overall passing percentage this year is 85.34%. 6,948% students got benefit of sports merit marks. Students will get their mark sheets on Friday in their respective schools. Goa board declared SSC results for the year 2013. Girls have outshined boys by securing marks of the first three toppers in Goa. The three toppers as per Goa board website for the year are Shreya Bambolkar 96.8% Punji Amarja Lad 96.5% Kurzade Suyasha Faldesai 96.5% Kurzade We have the uh, Goa Board's highest topper as per the Goa Board's website. She is Shreya Bambulkar. Uh, hi Shreya, congratulations. Uh, and how are you feeling? Feeling extremely glad that um, the hard work of all this year has finally got the result. Really happy. Okay. Were you expecting to be the first uh, in Goa? Oh, not at all. I thought. Uh, like uh, the f highest I would get would be 95, it is really a surprise to me. She wants to do a career in laws. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so she wants to be a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. specialization in corporate law. Okay, yeah, so everybody, you know, uh, nowadays, uh, doctor, engineer, everybody is going for it. When uh, she wants, she has got uh, skills, particularly for required, mainly for lawyers. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, we are so you're happy with the ambition that she has? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So she wants to pursue with that. Yeah, she was very good uh, since childhood mm -hmm. and it is very good surprise given uh, to me by her. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was very uh, determined and uh, dedicated to studies and her hard work means excellent work uh, she, she has done. I don't want to do anything else. 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 And hard work is the key to success. It is the key to success. It is the key to success. I am 94 years old. I am 96 years old. I am 96 years old. I am 8 years old. I am 8 years old. And so, I was able to get my parents to support me. I was able to get my parents to get my parents. The batch of SSE students passed their examination after the RTE rule was implemented. 86 schools in Goa have secured 95% passing percentage. Around 746 students have passed after adding sports marks. Uh, I have the pleasure to announce that 
15,795 candidates have cleared the exam entire. So the percentage, we get it as 85.34% boys and girls, uh, just a 0.3 difference in the pass percentage. The girls, 0.3, now beat the boys by 0.3. Oh, this year we have, from this year we have introduced a new system where we are going to name the schools which have scored 95% and above result or which have secured 95% and above result. There are 84 such schools spread all over Goa plus two special schools. So 86 schools. I uh, stated it that it is because of the policy that is fo was followed two years back, the no detention policy, the number of students have increased at SSE. Under Goa Board, 746 students passed the exam with the help of sports merit marks. We have the facility for re-evaluation, verification and photocopies of answer books, all the applications should be routed through the schools. We request the candidates not to rush to the board, apply to their schools and the schools will forward the applications because we cannot process the applications uh, unless all the applications are with us. So we will wait for the schools to, we have given them dates to send the applications to us and we will start processing the... Bureau report prudent. Higher secondaries in the state will have to utilize their full capacity to admit 15,795 SEC pass students, else all students won't get accommodated. Goa Board had submitted this report to the government. Chairman of Goa Board, J.R. Rebello, has informed that higher secondaries are capable to accommodate the students, but there is need to increase the number of classrooms. Closure of Chogli Higher Secondary School, if it happens, can worsen the situation. 15,795 students cleared SSE examination on Thursday. However, in present strength, higher secondaries in state can accommodate only 14,230 students. To accommodate all the passed out students, higher secondaries will have to increase their divisions to accommodate students to its full capacity. There are 82 higher secondaries in Goa, 69 arts, wherein there are 3,450 seats, 95 commas, 4,750 seats, 75 signs, 3,750 seats and 111 vocational streams with 2,280 seats. If we consider 50 students in each stream, then 14,230 students can be accommodated. Beside this, each high secondary can accommodate 5 more students in each stream. That will accommodate 15,995 students. This year, the higher secondaries will be forced to exhaust their full capacity. In Chogule High Secondary School, there are two art divisions and four science divisions. That means total 300 students can be accommodated. If extra five students are considered in each division, then 330 students can be accommodated. However, if Chogule Higher Secondary shuts down this year, then 300 students will not be accommodated. Now have a look at the SSC results of last four years. 2009, 11,700 11, students passed out. 2010, 13,200. 2011, 13,191. 2012, 10,420 and in 2013, 15,795. Goa Board had already informed the state government that number of passing students would increase this year. Board had suggested increase in number of divisions of each higher secondary. On our part, yeah. Secretary and uh, myself, we had made the authorities aware of the increase in number. Long back it was uh, given to them. And they promised us that there is, and if we see the records, there is enough capacity in Goa, but uh, st schools in certain areas, yes, schools in its certain areas, they, they will have a problem. But there is 
lot of capacity all over the state. In fact, we are very fortunate to have a lot of capacity. Maybe some few schools of divisions might have to be started. But the department is aware of it, government is aware of it, and we think that it will be sorted out. Senior reporter Laukik Shilkar with video journalist Devendra Kaukar for Prudent. Goa government has transferred senior scale officers of Goa Civil Service, officers holding post of deputy collector, additional directors and chief officers are transferred. Moreover, responsibilities of some of the IAS officers are shuffled. Here's a report. The Goa government issued transfer order on Thursday. Senior scale officers of Goa Civil Service have been transferred. Here is a list. Vaibhi Taude, Project Director, District Rural Development Agency South, has been transferred as Chief Officer of Madgaon Municipality. PK Vape, Additional Collector 1 North, has been transferred as Project Director, Rural Development Agency South. Shabri Manjikar, Additional Director of Panchayat 2, has been transferred as Managing Director of Marketing Federation. LS Pereira, Managing Director of Marketing Federation, has been transferred as Additional Director of Panchayat 2. Damodar Muraskar, Under Secretary, Industries and Labor, has been transferred on ad hoc promotion posted as Additional Collector 2. Sanda Kamath, Additional Collector 2 South, has been transferred as Additional Collector 1 South. Moreover, responsibilities of the officers have been shuffled. Additional charge of IG prisons with the North Goa collector Mihir Vardhan. Dr. Jaydev Sarangi relieved from the charge of IG prisons. Jaydev Sarangi's new post yet to be determined. Additional charge of North Goa additional collector to joint chief electoral officer Narayan Nauti. Additional charge of Secretary of Goa State Election Commission to Secretary of Goa State Information Commission M.K. Vast and Director of Art and Culture Prasad Loleka relieved from additional charge of the post of OSD to CM. Order also says that officers have to take charge of their new responsibilities by 20th May. Bureau report, prudent. 11 to 12 passengers got injured in a bus accident at Chandor. The bus was plying from Gudi to Asolda. The bus turtled off the fields after driver lost control over the vehicle. Passengers were shifted to hospice. Most of the passengers were females.